Hi, my name's Abigail Hunt and I'm an artist. I'm working with Southwark Park Galleries on the Spring Has Sprung activity pack for families. And I'm going to have a go today at making some of nature's paintbrushes where we use things from outside, from the park, or from the, your garden or from a walk that you can make into paintbrushes and then you can use those paintbrushes to um, paint some of the things outside that you can see. Okay, so if you want to have a go, I'm going to show you how to make them. Okay, so the things you're going to need are some scraps of cardboard from packaging, uh, some kind of tape, sellotape, or this is masking tape, that's fine, any kind of tape. Maybe some string or wool or thread, something for tying, and some scissors. Um, so anything you find really around your house, hopefully. Um, and then you'll need the bits that you found outside um, in your garden or when you've been out walking. Um, I found some bits of twigs, some leaves, um, some little... These are quite beautiful um, leaf skeletons, which I think would make quite a nice paintbrush. So all I'm going to do is look at attaching these together to make a paintbrush head. So think about what a paintbrush is like, and you're trying to kind of copy that really, um, but using different things. So I'm going to tape these together. These are very soft, fluffy, soft leaves that I hope will make a nice brush mark when I use them. And I'm just attaching them as low down as I can so that as much of that is exposed for when I'm painting. And then that would actually work fine, but I want a bit of a handle, which is when your cardboard comes in useful. So get um, some bits of cardboard which you can tear or cut and then make yourself a handle so that when you're painting, you've got something to hold on to. You can either tie that or again use the tape to um, quite tightly bind it around. I'm going to make the handle a little bit longer. Um, and remember, if you do, after you've finished, if you want to recycle these, you can take the, try and take them apart, so take the tape off. And then all the bits can either go back into the outside or into the recycling. So there's one paintbrush with a very soft top. I'm going to try something with these now, I think. I'm going to tie these together to make a second one. And this time I'm going to use some string. I'm just going to bind it really, if I can. Wrap it around as tightly as you can. I want to get someone to help you hold it in place while you tie it. Knot it together. And then you can cut that off. And again, make a handle using either a bigger stick, you can use a bigger stick, or I'm just going to use cardboard again and find it. And I like to make them look quite nice too, if you can. These work well on themselves really, paintbrush them itself. Just brush away the dust. So there's a couple of paintbrushes which should make completely different marks, I would imagine. And then there's a couple that I made before, so another one that's got a big stick for a handle and lots of little twiggy bits. Again, this one I painted with earlier, but I've tested it out. Some quite stiff dry leaves and a piece of wood that I found in the garden. And this one's a little bit different. This is just using paper and a lolly, an old lolly stick. So this isn't really natural things, but it just shows you could use things from around the house or it's in the recycling as well. So those are my alternative paintbrushes that I can try out and see what kind of marks they make. So I've got some of the paintbrushes that I made and I've got some black paint actually. You can use whatever colour you want, but I'm going to have a go at seeing what kind of marks my new paintbrushes make. Um, so I'm going to see what I 
see what I can do. And I'm going to have a think about maybe drawing some of the things that I saw while I was on my walk today. So some lovely spring, spring trees. Oh, my, my brush makes quite scratchy marks. I'm going to see what kind of shapes I get. And actually, if I press harder, I'm going to get a different mark. It's quite windy out there today. So the trees were quite moving quite a lot. Um, they're very beautiful in the spring because they've got lots of buds starting to form. You can see the beginning of new life starting to come. I'll try my other brush. So remember I made, that was that twiggy sticky one. I'll try this, um, doesn't want to focus on that one, the one that's much more soft because it's the leaves of the unpredictable marks, but it's capturing the movement of the wind and the buds on the trees. So you can just explore what you saw while you were out and about and using those lovely brushes that you made yourself. Hope you enjoy yourselves. Bye-bye.